Hey guys, OBF back here, back again with another Vans review. And today I have an older release. This is the Takahashi Priz High LX, a 2010 release. And next to it here, I have the latest version of this shoe, the Priz High LX. And this is the 2015 release, which I've done a review on a couple videos back. So I'm going to do a comparison video as well as give you guys a detailed look at the original version here. This is a personal grail of mine. I've really been looking for this shoe for quite a while now. And I actually picked these up shortly after I picked up the 2015 release, so it was perfect timing for me. This shoe is extremely hard to find, especially in a size 12. This is probably the first pair that I've seen in my size pop up uh, anywhere, really, on eBay or any other uh, private listing site. Just a super sick shoe here. Uh, this is the same model as the 2015 slightly different um, we have a suede toe box here in this like toe cap look on the front moving into the mid portion of the shoe and you see that same suede on the tongue as well not the best suede it's a pretty decent suede though definitely better than a GR moving on to the back portion here you have this leather which is very similar to the California boot style leather uh, the California boot zips that I did a review on a while back pretty much the same kind of leather very textured uh, really tumbled leather here and as you can see it's got some veins in here too to give it a real nice personal look it's a very dark like brownish red colored leather it's slightly different than the other version in this pack this pack dropped with four different shoes there were two of these Priz High LX's and two of the Priz Lows the other colorway was a black suede here on the front and the leather in the back was actually closer to this one both shoes are very sick Prislow's as well same exact color concept you see that boot leather going all the way around to the inner portion of the shoe making its way to the toe box here on the heel we have this awesome graphic here on the back where it's actually like punched in there and it's like this little plus logo you also have this rigid look here on the side of the leather which is really nice Let's see if i can zoom in on this there we go that same suede that we saw on the toe box making its way around the ankle here as well as on the top of the tongue for the trim you also see the taka feather graphic here on the tongue as well in a nice little patch Probably the most notable part of the shoe here, the Velcro straps here in like that Native American-esque uh, weave here, which is pretty cool. The eyelets are a blackish gray eyelet, only five of them here. And then we have a rawhide waxed round lace, which is uh, actually very hard to tie. Uh, these are a pain in the butt and they're really short too, which is a bummer. Probably my favorite part of the shoe here is this midsole. As you can see on the toe bumper, you have that same style midsole that we saw on the Taka Pendleton's. Very sick, also Native American uh, influenced. And then on the back portion here, you have this little stripe, which really reminds me of a Converse shoe. Definitely something unique on a pair of Vans. That midsole is sewn in there. And you have this awesome turquoise Taka graphic on the heel, as well as a flat turquoise outsole. I really love this style outsole. It's really easy to clean and it looks really nice. The inside of the shoe, the lining is made up in a like washed canvas. It kind of looks like that washed gray color also underneath the tongue. One of my favorite parts about these older vault releases is they have the information under the tongue here or somewhere on the shoe, so it says spring 2010. This is really cool. I really wish they continued to do that. Got a brown Vans tag on the side here, nothing underneath it. Lots of details on this shoe, very sick shoe. Actually, the insole as well here, I took it out for you guys. This is a PU sock liner insole. The older vaults always had these. I definitely prefer these over the newer style sewn in insoles just because you can always take these out and replace them with whatever you want you have the little talk of feather graphic here on the heel 
and his signature underneath it there and it kind of looks like um, there's like an extra padding in here it doesn't really feel like it but it, it pops up a little bit which is cool it's sewn in right there and you have some nice graphics on the middle as well um, more of that cut that we saw on the heel and then you got like some triangle circle patterns there as well that's all leather there on the top very cool the other insole actually just features a Vans logo instead of the feather graphic so that's pretty cool too these guys do fit true to size I don't remember what the retail was on these um, I honestly I couldn't even take a guess I have no idea I picked these up for a hundred dollars ship though so super psyched on that no box or anything which is kind of a bummer but these shoes are very hard to come by so I definitely didn't hesitate moving on to the comparison between the two shoes they're actually a lot different than I thought they would be um, I've only actually seen pictures of these and saw video and stuff so I haven't really held these in hand but they're definitely a lot more different than I thought they would be um, obviously you have the canvas suede difference I always love suede over canvas the toe box itself is different too you have like the stitching here as opposed to like a toe cap effect that this one has midsole once again completely different um, here is just your basic Vans midsole nothing at all on it nothing special and then this one's just unbelievably detailed down to every little piece so this one's definitely sick outsole flat style waffle outsole you still have that same color kind of giving like a nod to the OG release which is nice leathers are completely different here this one's actually a lot nicer in my opinion it's very soft as well as the lining the pigskin lining obviously you can't beat that with a basic canvas here on the heel you have different plus logos or I don't know what I would call this but the graphics are different as you can see this one's a little more narrow it's got different heel tabs on there sewn in uh, midsole of course and also I noticed that the velcro was a little bit different on here on the 2015 release you got the the hooks on the actual like woven piece here and then the soft parts gonna be on the bottom while the older release is actually reversed so you have the softer part on the woven and then the hooks on the bottom here but the hooks are actually like micro hooks so they're a lot easier to pull apart which is nice other than that pretty much the same shoe you got the same style with the the laces here and the eyelets the lace the laces themselves are the exact same waxed rawhide laces very short um, both very sick shoes I most definitely pre prefer the OG ones here the details uh, by far outweigh the details on this um, oh also another thing I noticed was the the leather here on the newer ones you got like a wave if you see that it kind of curves while on the OGs it's just like straight cut which is also pretty cool definitely like the straight cut ones well I hope you guys like the review and the comparison video um, be sure to stay tuned for an on feet of these guys